Hi, it's JW here. I recently bought an electrical item on eBay from a Chinese seller and it was advertised as being supplied with a Chinese plug, which is this plug here. Well, there's nothing actually wrong with that plug other than you aren't allowed to supply it on an item uh, sold into the UK as uh, it should have the proper UK plug fitted. Uh, in some cases you can use an adapter which is supplied with the product. Uh, unfortunately in this case they did supply an adapter but it was this and uh, there are a lot of things wrong with this so uh, we'll have a closer look and see what the problems are. Now for those of you who are not familiar with UK uh, plugs this is the standard uh, UK mains plug which uh, is supplied fitted to anything that uh, has to be plugged in and it's been the law for a considerable number of years that uh, these have to be supplied fitted uh, either a yeah, rewirable one like this or you can get the uh, moulded on variety and uh, therefore obviously supplying something like this in a UK uh, position is not acceptable because clearly that uh, is only intended for use in China or wherever it came from. Uh, there isn't a possible alternative and that's to use a proper adapter which uh, generally looks like this. Now this is a standard uh, UK plug on the face of it and inside it's actually a European type plug there with the two round pins but this adapter is clearly designed specifically for this purpose. That will fit in there and it does snap in nice and securely and you can also see there's actually a fuse down in the bottom there which again is a requirement of the uh, UK uh, plug system. That cover clips on there and then there's actually a screw there to secure that properly. Now this Chinese plug was supplied with an adapter and it's this adapter and this is one of these uh, fits all and doesn't actually fit anything particularly well type of things. Uh, this uh, sort of does fit in here if you uh, shove it in with a suspension amount of force but as you can see even I'm trying to put it in level it, it simply doesn't fit and a bit of movement there and it's uh, just coming apart so uh, a pretty poor thing in the first place and even at an angle there you can see there's a bit of a gap here which uh, really is not acceptable and it's a very loose fit and so it will just fall out without uh, a great deal of effort. Uh, this obviously has no earth because this was a uh, double insulated or class 2 appliance so it didn't actually need an earth wire which is a good job because uh, there's no way you can actually connect one uh, with a two pin plug. Uh, this does have the facility for an earth there. Uh, problems with this, uh, of course, on this side, these pins are completely unsleeved. So uh, if you grip this and put it in the wall like that and your fingers come around the corner, then you've just killed yourself. Uh, just compare that to the uh, proper adapter here. And uh, you see you've got the insulated section there, which if you did put your fingers around, it's actually, well, first of all, it's very difficult to reach because they're the proper spacing and also you can't actually touch the uh, exposed metal while it's connected to the mains. Uh, that brings us to the other problem here in that the spacing on the edge here is far too little. I believe it's supposed to be about five or six millimetres. Clearly that is very far from that distance and uh, if we can actually just measure that. Yeah, I mean, there we go. It's what, three or four millimetres at most. That is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, this looks like one of these things that's the back is the same and the front is a selection of various pins for various countries um, and in this case uh, they've got it very wrong. Uh, another problem here is that this is incredibly bendy and this, this whole thing would uh, probably fall apart given the uh, opportunity. Uh, the other major problem with this is there is no fuse or at least there appears to be no fuse so that means you've got this very thin cable which uh, does actually have the size on it somewhere, yeah, 0.5, uh, I don't know if be able to see that, but that's uh, 0.5 millimetres squared, which is about the smallest you can get. Uh, the problem with that is that uh, sockets in the UK have typically a 30 or 32 amp circuit breaker. Pretty obviously you can't be using little tiny thin flex like that. Uh, protected by a 30 amp device, as if there's a fault or a short circuit here, then uh, the likely result is this going up in flames. 
So uh, hence things like this proper adapter have a fuse in and all the standard plugs like this also have a fuse inside primarily to protect the appliance flex. Uh, this doesn't appear to have a fuse and uh, if it does it's a non-replaceable variety so uh, absolutely appalling. Right, I've actually tried to open this but you can't get into it without totally destroying it. Uh, I've sort of pried open here but this bottom edge is loose but the uh, other edges around here are glued or sort of partly welded with something. I bet it's pretty obvious there is no fuse in this because uh, if there was there'd be a small compartment or something you could open and replace and uh, clearly there's nothing on here. There's only a label there which uh, just states uh, for export only. Obviously the uh, Chinese didn't want this to be used in their own country and uh, you can see why. Uh, it does have a rather odd feature in that uh, the plug it's converting to actually will fit in it as well. So you can get a perfectly nice and normal uh, plug there and it will fit in there. And then it converts it to a nasty and fairly dangerous thing instead. So uh, yes, certainly a rather unusual device. But it's said probably that this is just one of these standard uh, shells and they just put in whatever pins are appropriate to the uh, time. But why any company or manufacturer is actually making unsleeved pins um, and not obviously complying with the uh, relevant spacing and uh, other sizing uh, really is a mystery because uh, there's no way that that could ever be compliant and uh, it just seems a particularly useless piece of equipment. And if you actually compare it to the proper plug, the pins are not actually the right size. They're not too far off, but uh, as you see there, there's a slight uh, issue on the width there. The uh, adapter is fractionally too narrow on the pins, which is probably because of this sort of springy uh, plastic situation. Height-wise, they're not too bad fairly uh, close there, I don't have any uh, precision measuring equipment here to do it, but uh, yeah, they're not, I mean the earth pin there is uh, reasonably correct and the other two, uh, yeah, I mean they're pretty near, but uh, yeah, the fact they're not sleeved, it's too close to the edge and so you just, it's tempting to put your fingers on the edge there to undo it and of course uh, you're just going to be pressing onto live terminals. So uh, a bit of a fail and it was a pity because the uh, box it came in actually had this plug in there and this adapter was in the same box so there was actually space in the box to put the proper plug on there and if you're going to go to the trouble of moulding on a plug which is probably perfectly fine in the country it's intended for uh, it's not really hard to go to the bother of actually just moulding on a proper UK plug or even just put the European one on and uh, put one of these uh, snap over adapters on it. So there you have it. Uh, if you are going to buy stuff on eBay or other places like that, uh, just be aware of what plug is being supplied with it. And in this case, I just chopped this off and uh, fitted a proper plug on there. Uh, the item in question was actually an aquarium uh, air pump. I uh, bought it on here because there's really nothing in them to go wrong. It's just basically an electromagnet and a set of uh, plastic bellows. So uh, the item itself was perfectly fine and it's probably exactly the same as the ones that are sold uh, in the UK with the uh, proper plug on. Difference being, of course, it's considerably cheaper. Uh, it was one of these uh, sellers registered in China that uh, has all their stock in the UK, usually in uh, Portsmouth or somewhere like that, so uh, delivery isn't a problem. But uh, yes, it's uh, just a pity they couldn't have spent, it's literally pennies more just to uh, put the uh, proper plug on the thing.